Can I have a key? Can I, can I pay for a no, key? No, you can't. Please. And we're cutting that. No, what? I'm just gonna bring it down. No, 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 don't, don't, just, just go to the server. Oh, no, go to your player thing. You've joined the server, right? Yeah. We're just trying to m do multiple things at the same time. You're okay with us doing this for the video blog, eh? Yeah, it's okay. But I don't know if this is actually launching them. I think it, I'm sure it just launched the mission automatically then. Yeah, just go log. These three states. And they'll stay in those states. So the first state is like they're loitering. So that's kind of like what we've got where they're going to move around. The second state is alerted, which is they're wanting to do something, but mm. they don't, uh, you know, they don't necessarily know it's a person or whatever. And the third one's frenzy. So this is um, uh, like more like, see the body posture is quite like the muscles are all um, tensed and stuff like that. Mm. Um, and so as he starts to speed up it's more like what we want the alerter to look like because he's moving quite purposefully mm. but he's not like fully running mm. um, so particularly you see how he's like his body posture yeah. there is quite almost like a natural really mm. and then the, the hands like But yeah, I think you want to watch not getting it locked in the, in mm. the elbows. So, because uh, I think that's a lot of what they're doing there. And for the, the running's probably going to be where it gets challenging. But I think if we get the uh, loitering, that's because you see they're pretty much just running here. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the big problems is, you know, in the movie they can cut, uh, in the movies they can cut away and make it still seem scary. So see how they've got a lot of body movement? The head's often back like that. So I think having the head at a relatively unnatural angle will probably help it best.
So I can beat the shit out of that thing, right? <laughs> well, you can you can hit it, like like. Cool. Get it on camera. Yeah, I mean, but because I don't have smart under no, if you hit the beast in this uh, from viral of death animation, oh. like the problem death with from, this from is just just about. I can do death. This is the, no, I mean the problem. It, it's but we need death animations from the still pose and from at this uh, state running. But, but uh, what I mean is uh, the the that when, mm -hmm. when you rotate around the body. And if they hit you at the moment, I'm not sure, but in Arma 2, most likely you will return slightly. No, we can interrupt. I thought, didn't we, didn't we fix that? You can interrupt the animation? Yeah, but the rotation of the body, the engine does not know that you rotated 90 degrees, so probably it will shift back. Oh, I think and, and then he will. As long as the response is instant, mm -hmm. we can handle a little bit of glitchiness until we get a dull deal. Mm -hmm. So it's on the cards eventually. Hi guys, I'm, I'm Stepan Kment and I'm lead of this motion capture studio here in Bohemia Interactive. So what have we been doing today? Um, well guys, today we had a sort of fun and pain together because uh, we were uh, motion capturing uh, for DayZ, for Dean's project. And it was sort of that I worried about that, uh, you know, to make nice zombies, it's very like a pain sort of because uh, in movies usually camera and all the stuff and the lighting and sounds really aid in that feeling zombie like feeling but without that in dynamic game we really have to perform that somehow and it's kind of painful experience you know to become a zombie so I perform today too and yeah hopefully I didn't break a neck or whatever <laughs> So motion capture sounds awfully complex. How difficult is it to transform something from the motion capture studio into game? Well, uh, guys, after I guess seven or seven and a half years, it is not that complicated. But uh, I mean, you know, we have tons of problem, like with technology, with engine and with ton of other things. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a relatively fast process and we are pretty confident that what we recorded today will look, let's say, not one-to-one, -one, but pretty close in game. So. so what are we expecting to see as the results from today's work? Uh, so, in fact, what we tried to do in this case was uh, to really have certain, let's say, kinds of zombies, that means uh, we differentiated between, let's say, a zombie that has broken neck, let's say, standing like this, 
you know, then maybe another zombie that is, you know, like with a brain damage, so looking like, you know, retarded idiot, and another that maybe has something with a spine, so I don't know, like this and so on, and maybe with some, you know, neural discharges, shaking and so on. So we, we went actually the crowd would be not a bunch of, in fact, almost identically uh, moving or looking, you know, entities, but simply that you could tell, okay, this is my favorite, like, idiot, and this is my favorite, like, I don't know, broken neck and so on type of zombie. So that it will be simply just, just not a bunch of identical, you know, zombies looking all the same. So how important do you think motion capture and animation is to making DayZ what it is? Uh, well, in this case, for games, motion capture is probably the only way how to do it, because otherwise, you know, to, to, to achieve this level of, uh, or amount of moves in a reasonable time with hand animation, it would be absolutely impossible. So I'm, like, not a fond of this technology, I absolutely don't claim it, say it saves the world, it's nonsense, but in this case it's probably the only way how to make it reasonably fast, you know, with a reasonable amount of people that process these moves, so probably the only way to go. Any final words for Daisy fans waiting for Daisy? Uh, you guys, Dean is some extraordinary guy, so I think, you know, you should, you should wait, but it, I guess he will surprise you a lot, so just hold on and you will enjoy, I guess. Thank you very much for your time. Bye bye. Cheers. Have fun. So, please can you explain to us who you are and what you do? Uh, my name is Lukáš Miláček and I am producer of animations for DC. Today I was here uh, for the mock-up session. We recorded uh, zombie moves, uh, and uh, I will be responsible for the animation team to process all the animations. And I will also uh, help with the development of uh, new ways how to implement the moves, because today we tried few approaches for uh, a new type of animations and connections that were never done before in our so what do you do as producer of the animation team? What does that involve? Uh, <laughs> paperwork, <laughs> a bit of design, and uh, sometimes I act myself also. <laughs> so how many people are on the animation team in total? Uh, well, actually we have uh, three people hired for uh, processing animations, and the team uh, needs to grow up because uh, we also want to change uh, the main skeleton uh, and so the result is we will drop off all the animations that were in the mod and we will make all new animations and in the future we want to make uh, the same also for the player character. So what do you enjoy most about your job? Um, well I, I enjoy uh, being a part of the development team uh, and to help uh, with my skills and knowledge uh, to produce games for my friends because what I enjoy the most is to play with my friends in the evening in some multiplayer sessions, some cooperative session. So what's your favorite Daisy story then? Uh, my favorite story maybe is when I first kill uh, another human player. <laughs> so it was really intense and I, I will always remember that. I think. Thank you very much for your time then. Uh, do you have any uh, final words for those who are waiting, basically out there, or you know, for Daisy staying on and wondering when it's out? Uh, <laughs> uh, share it with Rich Bullet or the So, do you want to explain a bit about what you do on the animation team? Well, I work with Motion Builder, Process Data. When I work on Career Command project, I did cinematics and, of course, we do mockups. So, Motion Builder, what's that? What's that used for? It's a really advanced uh, program for animations. It's uh, 
got very cool and many good features. It's not for modeling, it's just for animation, so it's uh, very useful. So what's your favorite animation that we've motion captured for Daisy? Well, uh, def defecation, when uh, it was Stepan, he uh, did his little Sit shit. Down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's your final word for people waiting for Daisy standalone? Well, it's definitely worth it. And uh, Daisy mod was just beginning, now with uh, full game will be real, real thing. So, uh, yeah. it will worth it, so keep waiting. <laughs> <laughs>
It'll be done when it's done.